Longest loading screen of life. Holy shit. Are we soft locked already? It's a spoopy stream. I don't know. Is it? I'm. The album is like terrifying me right now. <laughs> the game's gonna crash. Okay. Finally. Also, tell me, hey, what's going on? How you doing, sorry? Some just nights are just pitch black, without stars, and without sleep. Uh huh. Dirty nights clinging to you like tar. Like this one night, back in 1938. Boston. The Great Depression tsunami was just sweeping over what was left of America. Misery, hunger, despair. Times are hard, they said. Times were worse than hard. Amen. And the bar was about to close. As far as I was concerned, this was just another intoxicated day drawing to an end. I love us already. If only I knew. Ooh. Also, this game was free. I used points. I liked the art style. This is it. This is the whole game. It's two colors. Black and white. Black and yellow. Black and yellow. I was going to buy Vampire, but as I was researching it, um... Some people called the story a bit threadbare, and it was $64.99, and I didn't want to spend money on a game who had a weak story. So, this one uh, didn't cost me anything. No points. Um, it's got fixed camera angles like Resident Evil. Y'all know how much I love Resident Evil. And it's horror, and y'all uh, y'all know how much I love my horror. The silver gold in the night sky. Also, I love jazz music. So. Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. It didn't really show too much. It's basically like a survival puzzle game. Y'all, Resident Evil. So much practice. But like, these are the only two colors, so you have to work like with the light and the dark. I'm just gonna turn my TV up a little bit. It's a little quiet. It's it not really loud, now it's too quiet. Eternity to I chose the guy out. Oh, that was the whole thing. Oh, I thought you had to get the key to rub the armory. Sorry. My mistake. Oh, okay. Understood. Oh, I thought you had to get the key and then you had to go on like another quest and rob the armory. Sorry. Oh my god. A ghost. Two seconds out. Basically, I should have stuck around for two seconds so I could see it tearing up this place. Oh, I thought that was my washer for a second. I'm also doing laundry. It also recommended that I listen to this with headphones, but like Hellblade. The shock was still echoing in my bones as the image of that girl coming out of nowhere surged back in my mind. Did I hit her? Was she dead? 
I couldn't remember. Thoughts were spinning in my head. I hope I didn't run her over. I hope she's still alive. Then, the pain. Terrible pain on my side. And this question. And this question. Where am I? Bruh, I love this. Look at this. this is so fucking cool. Wow. Graceful. Oh, we hit a fucking tree and we're not dead? Seatbelts weren't a thing in 1937. 30, yeah, 37. He's lucky we didn't go through the fucking windshield. Despite the pain. The car was on the brink of death. No fucking shit. This girl on the road, the impact, I couldn't find her body. That's because we fucking yeeted her. Maybe we have a broken side. I also don't know. There's something over there. I'm gonna try and get over there. Oh, okay. Y'all know how much I love my fixed fucking camera. Can I... Uh, this takes place in 1937. How do I pause? Collection. Oh, just kidding. I also don't know how long this game is, but a free game is a free game. We're gonna fucking die. Is that it? I see the gate over there. I don't know where else I'm like supposed to go. I guess I'm not getting back in the car. Oh. The car was on the brink of death. Did we do? Yeah, you do get fucking lucky. Don't drink and drive, folks. Let that be a lesson to you. Don't you fucking shake. You wet ass up. We got soaked on the fucking walk. Like, it is so, it's raining so freaking hard right now. Oh, that's the treat. That's okay, I found the treat, folks. What did this box say? I got distracted. <laughs> Two IQ. Yeah, what is this box? connected to the street lights. Did I do anything with it though? Oh, you can't go back and look at it? Oh, you get one shot, one kill, baby. That's it. Well, fuck me, eh? Shit. Oh, did it just... Did... No body, no blood. Where did the girl disappear? Oh, Boston. Baston. Can I look at that? Hang on. Oh, Boston Daily News. Yeah, that's me. How do I... Oh. Have I killed her? Can you imagine? I know what you did last summer. But I was wounded and needed help. So what are we in like the Boston countryside here? Where the fuck are we? Just take a nap and sleep it off. For, for help, I could rely on the Boston News. Which I could, oh, with X. Oh, that, okay. 10 cents. Oh, sorry, I lied. It's not 1937, it's 1938. Thank God. This is White Knight. Um, we were just in a car accident. It's 1937. We thought we hit and killed a girl because we were drunk. Um, and as you can see, we're stumbling around aimlessly. This is it. This is the color palette. It's black and white. Just started, ma'am. You want to go and see the car? Let's go see the car. <laughs> dumb. Drunk and dumb. Does being drunk make you dumb? We're stumbling around. Let. Oh. We're looking for the girl, sorry. Really? Oh, boo. I'm really putting this guy through the ringer. He's hurt. 
Yeah, look at our car. The car is dying. I think he's drunk, yeah. So that's our car. We hit a tree. So we were crossing this bridge, and then all of a sudden we saw the apparition of a girl kind of like jump out in front of us, and we swerved to avoid her, and then we hit the tree. And now we're... You don't know what her... I'm trying to get to the gate. <gasps> Zerpy! It's true, right? She doesn't tell anybody. I just covered it, and I, and I basically was like, oh yeah, totally supposed to do that. Totally supposed to win my character before the game even starts. <gasps> oh my god, I've done that before. Let me put a band-aid on that. Let me in! Let me in! But you can't let the air get on it all the time. What if that irritates it? Throw me my down, buddy. Also, Derpy, I know I said we were going to play uh, Vampire, um, but it was $64.99 on the eShop. And as I was looking at the reviews... I was trying to collect my thoughts. They said that the game was kind the of threadbare in The intense pain was scattering them like a bunch of dead birds. My fear of being wounded changed into an obsession. Was I about to die? Was I about to die? That would still hurt me, though. Really? Okay, I'm kind of glad I didn't spend all the money on it, then. And this game was free. And it looks super fun. It's got, like, that Resident Evil fixed camera angle vibe that you all know how much I love my Resident Evil. It's a woman! I'm gonna find her. Hello. Oh. A bird table. Isn't that a bird bath? Margaret Vesper, born Ventercross. Oh, that's me. A bird, <laughs> bird table? That must be what they called it in 1938. Uh, on the grave, any Margaret Vesper seemed to challenge eternity itself. Who was she? The grave looked as daunting as a forgotten tomb. What a dire way of decorating a garden. We're coming off a little judgmental here. I don't even know. Our, did our character even mention his name? Oh, you know how much I fucking love crows. At least they sound like crows this time and not like the choking noise. The statue was staring at me with a white and hostile stare. Good. I couldn't help but think about that statue's broken arms. Someone had obviously moved it recently, but I couldn't help thinking it was some kind of desecration. Well, the Venus de Milo doesn't have any arms. What are you fucking getting on about? I'm in love with this game already. I don't know about y'all, but I fucking love this game. Oh, his name? His name is Stanley. I'm gonna call him Stanley. What's a good 1938 name? What should we call him? Jones MacGyver? I love it. Okay, we do all the exploring over here. What's on the other side? Venus de Milo and her broken arms. Where are we? Oh, there we are. Found me. <laughs> I found. Oh, make a. I threw a wish in a well. Don't ask me. I never tell. I lost me again. There I am. Oh, it's for sale. Cool. Oh, look, there's a thing over there. Joe, yeah. Oh, way to go, you fucking putts. A dozen meters at least. No way to recover it. Thinking this was a premonition was probably just superstition, but I definitely, I felt definitely uneasy. That sentence doesn't make any sense. See, look, we're getting better. We just have to walk it off. We're fine. Spooky tree. This unknown symbol let out a powerful aura. Okay. It does look like an Anka. Sort of Greek thing.
and yeah, this is, I'm not, you guys, this, I love this fucking game. This is great. I love it. Is it finally time? Oh, that's what's making that noise. This house is for sale. This board looked as old as the house. Perfect, so we're gonna go and start squatting in this home. The arm came from a marble structure. Well, it's over there. We found it, remember? It's over there. Oh, maybe. Could be Egyptian. Is that a wine glass? Perfect. I am thirsty. Golden liquid? Piss. The glass is still moist. In the chair overlooking the garden, someone was there very recently. If the person were to come back, my wound would be the only acceptable reason for breaking in. <laughs> beer! You may love it, you may hate it, or you may have never drunk a beer. Did you know the cost of all the new jobs in the Civilian Conservation Corps program from Roosevelt's New Deal could be covered just by the taxes on beer, over $328 million. Taxes on beer amount to almost $1 million per day. Beer means over 1 million jobs for you, your neighbors, or your friends. Beer producers know they offer well-being. But they also want beer to be safe for everyone. Enjoy with moderation, and the future, yours like ours, always will be prosperous. Beer is your product, and it's your future. Guys, this is hitting very close to home for me. Also, keeping in mind that Prohibition just ended in the United States in, what, 1930... 1932? Yeah, 1930, it's either 19, yeah, 1932. This is why I'm here. It's true. Got them beer glasses. I'm ready. Ah. Um, no, the bitterness of, you may like more of a fruitier beer. Are we okay, my friend? Mayhap. Also, what kind of beer are you putting in that style of glass? Remember, folks, certain beers belong in certain glasses if you want to get super fancy. Old and damp planks, which had fallen from the front of the mansion. This place is a goddamn hazard. Couldn't see a thing. The window was watching over a tomb. Well, obviously they have to keep an eye on the tomb. God, why are we so judgmental? Are we missing more clues down here? I don't even know. What do you mean? Am I pulling? What am I pulling out of my brain? Ooh, what be this? Letter from Mar Martha Kenton to William Vesper. Under normal circumstances, I would have never tried to contact you. I am an honest woman. I have supported my husband since the blessed day of our wedding, from which two beautiful children were born. I have given them the best education I could, but today I cannot afford to raise them anymore, properly anymore. We are ruined! My husband's employer went bankrupt. He is traveling from town to town trying to find a job while I have to beg for food every single day. My four-year-old son has a bad cough, which is getting worse, and I fear for his life. Nowadays, we can see children die in the streets. Is this still America? Why am I picking games? <laughs> that are hitting so fucking close to home right now. I beg of you, who are rich, only a few dollars would be enough. We could work for you. We live in the shack under the best oil sign at the entrance of the slum by the Graham Slaughterhouses. Oh, don't hesitate to come, Martha Kenton. Again, keeping in mind, we are in the middle of the Great Depression, um, the likes of which none of us had ever seen before. And unfortunately, um, for us, that was a worldwide thing and we needed World War II to break us out of the, uh, break us out of that. So to see things like that happen also, yeah, it was just, it, it was, it was not good. Yeah. 
inkling. Yes, me neither. I just feel like I'm missing something. I'm missing some shit over here, I feel like. Look, we're getting better already. We're not stumbling around anymore. I think this is a window, but I don't know. Oh, can I not go any further? Ooh, spoopy. I actually can't go any further. That's too bad. Oh god, I've lost myself. Oh god, where? Oh, there I am. <laughs> found me. Don't worry. I found it me. William Vesper. No date on the grave. I can't help it. You guys don't make fun of me. I love history so much. It's like I told you, American history. Specifically in the 20s and the 30s. I can't help it. Don't ask me shit about Canadian history. I really can't help you out that much. Do I live here? Absolutely. Do we have any history? Fuck no, we don't. Nah. <laughs> I am useless when it comes to information, though. You want me to multiply something in my head? Can't do it. You want to fucking know what was happening in Canada and, like, some god-awful year? Also probably can't help you that much. Two plus two is four, minus one, that's three. That's quick math. All right, let's do it. Let's go inside. We have spent enough time watering the grounds. Bang, 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 bang. The ghost will let us in. The landlord was out, so the key might be around somewhere. Oh, I gotta find the key. The ghost is gonna let us in. Did you ask the ghost nicely? No one around. I was all alone, with my pain growing, and some nausea starting up. Don't stop. Think quick. Think well. It was just an accident. It happens. The girl must have made it out alive. I had to make it out alive, too. Would you hate me if I told you it was just because of, um, Vine? Looking for a key, apparently. Okay, is it in the bird bath, maybe? Is it Shug? I can't remember. You guys, if I was a key hidden in a palette of black and white, where do you think I would be? In the bird bath. That's a good call. What does Venter Cross mean? Is anybody smarter than me? Y'all, there's no key here. Okay. The, the bird table. <laughs> that is... Wait, we're just gonna put the birds on there? I am in confusion. Is it with the Venus de Milo? Oh, what about in here? Did we find the key? Nearby. Okay, well, is that too far? Apparently not in the bird table and the pail is too far, so I this is the borderline here. We're stumbling around again. We have a concussion probably. Not good. What if it's do you think it's on these bird tables? Uh-oh. Fireworks are starting. You think it's here? But there was no key in sight. Tip. It's all going to tips, you guys. Tips. Okay, don't worry. We'll find the key. You don't need to, like, mope around. We got this. I hope there wasn't anything useful inside. Well, you dumbo. What you should have done was investigate first. This is to ward off evil spirits, right? Maybe they're superstitious people. Still on the symbol. Balls. Where is this? Fucking key. Y'all, if I was the key, where the fuck would I be hiding? 
under the doormat, obviously, but like, where's the doormat? I lost me. Oh, found me. This is gonna be me losing me a lot. Is that? No, that's just that stuff. Okay. Is it on the veranda, maybe? Hmm, guess to say. That's just tell us about the creepy window. Okay. Is it in the lock? Did you leave the key in the lock? One time, um, this is how... Well, I'm trying to find it, you dolt. Here's a, here's a thing about, like, how ridiculously safe my, uh, fucking city is. Um, I was meeting my mom, um, one time. And this was before my car had, like, automatic locks. So my car was quite old at the time. And, uh, I somehow, when I met her and we got in one vehicle, I, um... Lock, went to lock my door but I left the keys in the lock and we were gone for like six hours and then I came back fucking key was still there nobody had touched it it was still just hanging out sitting there is it under the beer glass drink it liquid courage okay let's Sit on the step for a second. Let's pause and think about this. Where the fuck's the key? <laughs> Where's the doormat? Crunch, crunch. If I go this way. I really don't think there's anything else over here, though. Oh, yeah, maybe it is on the bench. It looks like there's something on there, but it's not letting me do anything with it. And this is not the... Yeah, we can't use this bird table. That's William Vester. Vesper. Vespa. It's all right, we're doing fine. You're doing great, sweetie. Keep going. IQ. Okay, but like, how close is nearby though, you know? How do I... I need to get up here again. Glad to be up. Oh, can we go back here maybe? Yes, we can. That looks like a piano. I lost me again. There I am. Okay, I just keep stumbling around drunk, sweetie. It's fine. Okay. She says, nope, let's for cross. Spend her cross. What does that mean? Norman. This name coming from nowhere was chilling. What do you mean? Henry Vesper, a relative of the landlord. Okay. But where's the key? I noticed footprints. Someone often went to that cemetery. weird, you guys. Oh my god, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. Hello? I know, right? I clearly have missed something somewhere. 
I know, right? I agree. Do you, oh, maybe that's where the key is. Also, clearly, game, I'm not smart enough to find the key. Clearly, you need to help me. Give me a hint. I also just tried to change the camera. <laughs> One fucking well hidden motherfucking key. What if we jumped a little bit, my dude? It's okay, don't worry. I know your concussion is probably bothering you. Oh yeah, good call. Behind the for sale sign. Excellent. I mean, the bird tables right there would be an absolutely perfect place. I lost me again. There we go. That is so badly too. Really? I, I don't understand why we can't do that either. We seem strong enough. Oh yeah. We knocked a bucket down. Yeah, can we borrow your phone? I need to use your telephone. Am I just the dumb? It's gonna be something stupid obvious. It's gonna be like a little plank hole in the wall or something or on the floor. But nothing else is like jumping out at me. Whoops. Sorry. What do you want from me, game? Tell me your secret. That's the, yeah, that's the lamp. Okay, good. There's a letter here, yeah. Motherfucker. One well hidden key. I don't think there was. Hang on, let me see. I do this all the time. Um, how do I? Oh. Just that they live under the best oil sign at the entrance of the slum by Graham slaughterhouses. Can you imagine the noises that you must have fucking heard at night? Jeez. It's also not really a floor, but a sleuthing machine. Okay, clearly it's stupidly obvious and I'm missing it. This is just, yeah, the statues. Because if I check that and then I go back over to the statue, it's just like, 
It feels like a desecration. Something has done something about the arm. and grab it. sanctuary to open the door to a world I didn't belong to but whoever lived in there they would understand I needed help anyone would understand that the rich are different from you and me yes they're better socially better sorry that's probably one of my most favorite Simpsons episodes you did call it random you did call it. I felt like we- did we not do that though? Don't leave the lock- don't leave the key in the lock. Look at her cute little sweater vest! We wanna fucking die. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Getting somewhere safe. That's all that mattered. As the doors opened, the mansion seemed to react to my presence. There was a smell. Like a cornered animal. A smell of fear. And yet, I entered the place. Because I had no choice. I was praying to find a phone, or some help. I didn't even bother wondering what happened to prayers when they reached the wrong door. End of chapter. Also, this is reading a little bit like Shirley Jackson's The Haunting of Hill House. The Haunting on Hill House. What do you guys think so far? might want to get those pipes checked. Also, um, Shirley Jackson's The Haunting of uh, Hill Manor or Hill House or something like that uh, is a fantastic book. She basically invented the um, haunted house genre of horror. Um, and I would recommend. Uh, you know what I think it is? I think it's just the monotone color palette. Like, it's a little tricky to navigate through sometimes. The loading screens are also fucking long, though. It's gonna require 2,000 IQ, you guys. All together, we're gonna band together and get this game done. Go around. Yeah, sorry, the loading screens. Stupid long. Oh, fuck yeah. Is that blood? Or is that just mud? That's the sound of the clock ticking. Here, there, here, here. Stop. Stop, please. Oh, that's me. Sorry. I thought we were just going to do. Moment, I don't want your gross butt. You're fucking wet. Oh, phone. 
Fuck yeah, bruh. Radio for some help. It's okay, you can do it. We're so close. Hello. Hello. I need an ambulance. Can you hear me? I need help. I love light. I love lamp. Mm -hmm. Oh, I only have five of twelve. Well, fucking shit, eh? A door slammed. Yeah, I did. Oh, more matches. Voice. Peaceful landscape. The kind of place I would have loved to be. Yeah, it looks great. It looks like a... Some African mask, a wooden face without a soul. That's not very nice. That woman with dark hair was dominating the room. Who was she? That's probably um, the lady of the manor. Oh. oh. That must be the, uh, the operator noise. Once inside the house, I tried to use the phone to call for help, but the answer was scrambled and unintelligible. Who was it? I was chill went down my spine, and the entrance door locked itself behind me. Well, did you leave the key outside? You dumb bunny. Roman, stop looking, please. We've missed something somewhere outside, you guys. Margaret Vesper. I feel like I need to go back outside. We already fucked up. Doors. Hello. Oh. Encyclopedias. The edge was hardly readable. All right. Two men on a small boat. A memory from an expedition. Oh, that's the door. Oh, is that a light switch? Yeah, it is. Nice. How do I put the matches down? <laughs> the mountain landscape couldn't soothe me. Uh-huh. Good. Without light, I couldn't do anything. Oh, I guess that means it must have finally gone out. Whoever lived here had a special taste for alcohol. Oh, don't we all? There's boots here, though. Did you get, is that a glass? And used very recently. Uh-huh. Good. How do I match again? I want a match. How do I match? Match is B. No matter, I needed help and it was in here. Uh huh. Spoopy. Okay, good. It's a loud ass motherfucking clock. I, do you want to try this door? God damn. Goddamn door. Too heavy for me to breach it. Especially with my bad leg. Oh, we got a bum leg. Gotcha. Oh, right. Okay, sorry. That was me. Get out of here. So, I think it's this door. This door, or I think there's one other door we can use. No, there's just one door. Two doors. Did my match go out again? 
without a light, no way. All right. Try this door, I guess. Okay, well, the door just shut by itself. A soothing aura was surrounding this lunar goddess statue. Oh yes, Shangle, please sleep, absolutely. Thank you so much for joining. I love this game too, it looks so cool. I'm gonna play it tomorrow. Not a very smiley couple. People didn't really... Let's... Oh yeah, I wanna save. Thanks for stopping by. Don't worry, we're gonna play again. It certainly didn't. Well, you don't know him, my dude. Oh, it's gonna go out again on me. How uh, uh, sit. Are you there? No. Just took a little snooze. I could run. How long were we out for? Oh my God, we're gonna start burning through fucking matches. Box full of old science books. Do you want Resident Evil? Because this is how you get Resident Evil. Old traditions, it's 1938. Hmm. Margaret's diary excerpt was at 12? August 28th, 1911. William is seven today. He is with Henry, running after the servants in the garden, dressed up like monsters from space. Games, always games. The mansion is all upside down and their yells gave me an awful headache. I'm now cloistered in the office, unable to even pray. Henry's fantasies keep William away from his great destiny. I have to bring him back to me, as this will be my only chance to make a man out of him. To make him embrace the Venture Cross legacy. To show him the way. Henry is a dreamer, and he has no ambition whatsoever. He can't teach him anything. Behind every great man, there is a great woman. Nonsense. Women should be on the front line. This is where the opposite brought us. I have no illusion about how little power the world is li how little power the world is leaving in the hands of women, but William is young. He is the future. I will act through him. And may night finally fall upon the house. May William stop running after deceiving lights to find the place he deserves in this world. Uh-huh. Do you want the exorcist? Because this is how you get the exorcist. Oh. Okay, well don't break it. It's fine. We'll find another way. Nothing special about that wardrobe. That's what you think. Oh. Hello. Help me. Help me. Who was it? Or what was it? In my world, women didn't glow like the moon. And they didn't walk through doors either. Well, maybe you just haven't been... Hanging out with the right I had to be more badly wounded than I thought. Guess we're going in here next. Oh yeah, look. Oh, that's not imposing at all. Lovely. Note to self, mother's shadows. Mother's shadows will never go away. I understand it now. Calling them ghosts would still be too noble. It is a filth that strives in the dark like flies on manure. As long as I am alive, they will never go away. Good. This is good. Look how much we're learning. This is great. Margaret's Diary, Excerpt 19. 
And this is too good, old Boston, the home of the bean and the cod, where the Lowells talk only to Cabots, and Cabots talk only to God. A Boston Toast by John Collins Bossidy, Boston Brahms Anthem. Brahms. Wait, what? Weird. Did I just have a weird angle where I... Okay, yeah, it was a weird angle then. Nope, that happened. <laughs> Why are you getting so violent? Get out of here. Did I die? I died! Memphis! How do you... <laughs> what happened? Okay, ghost bad. Avoid ghost. Ghost no good. Ghost hurt. Oh, shit, that was me. Ghost to be meanies. Stay away from ghost. Don't look at ghost. Who could hang a picture of a headless woman on the wall? Well, I have some news for you. Uh huh. Margaret Vesper Nee Venture Cross. A woman as noble as cold. Well, that's not very nice. You shouldn't say things like that. You're being rude. I have to get all this shit again, too, I think. Yeah. Is that a door there? Well, let me just pick this up first. Okay. I don't want to go over there now. That's where the ghost is. The ghost is meanie face. Two strangers pretending to be married. Okay, well, sure. Is that a shoe? But that one smelt like death. I couldn't move close to it. It was an old lady, a corrupt soul. Death itself. I had to stay away from it. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Well, stay away from the ghost. She's mean. Okay, good. <laughs> I can get in here. I can get in here? It's Edgar Allan Poe! Barely any humanity, you say. Portrait of a woman have been cut with a knife. Oh, what is this? was reaching out from some fairy tale. The kind of stories... Oh. William Vesper's Diary, excerpt number 12, 1932 on February 6. Of all the bars I have visited, the smoke and mirrors appears to have been especially tailored for me. People there are quiet, melancholic even. They stagnate in the swirling smoke of their cigarettes like convicts' desperate victims that were pushed to the darkness by the crisis. But even if the bar is an elegant place... They are not driven away. They respect their right to oblivion. It is a place where they can disappear. I found myself a corner from which I can watch their comings and goings until I am carried to the abyss by my own whiskey. Every time I am caught again by the band, such good musicians. Their music is like a tear, a tear that time stretches. A slow jazz, steady and reserved. It is the music of their time, the music of those who fell on the wayside. Someone told me about a singer who just got hired. Well, I don't think the band needs that, but we will see. Which kids get devoured by some witch in a dark forest. Was it real? Was it real? Delusion or not, I tried not to think about it. Only a madman. Think such things. 
Jones. Summer of 1912, my only family after father's death. Their voices, their footsteps, their lives. I miss them all. Ladies. Cool. This game? Fucking gorgeous. Think mad things. Oh, a phonograph. Fuck yeah, baby. Oh, gramophone story. My bad. decided to accept her presence. After all, from all those weird things I had seen that night, she was the only one who hadn't tried to kill me. Ma'am? Actually, she didn't even seem to see me. She was waiting for something. What? Oh, you had more. Oh, I. Oh, that left two. That's nice. Oh. From Selena to William, excerpt number one. Dearest William, you wanted to know more about me. Last time I didn't tell you everything. This letter will make up for this. When I arrive in California in 1930, I am only 18. This is a marvelous place, and the weather is so nice. I spent hours on the beach, astonished to see how brown my Norwegian skin can become. In the evening, I hang near the jazz clubs. In the afternoon, I watch people play on the beach, humming the tunes I heard the night before. Sometimes I try to sing louder than the waves. That's good exercise. My English is quickly improving thanks to the American songs I already knew in Oslo. At the time, I am barely aware of the social misery that is devouring your country. I am young. I want to be beautiful, to meet people my age, and to sing. In Los Angeles, at the Spice Club, I meet members of a jazz band. They are talented and funny. We play all night. I forget about the hour and about my parents. They even... They even called the police. At the end of the night, the musicians tells me... The musicians tell me... They are looking for a singer and they want me. I can hardly believe it. Have you ever felt that you finally belonged somewhere? It feels fantastic. Ooh, Selena. Is she gonna hurt me? There's lights here somewhere. I just haven't found the light switch yet. Should I try to find the light switch? On uh, May 11th, 1928. It has been a year already since Sarah died of pneumonia, a few months after Winterstone became disabled, following his heart attack. They were my only friends. Today the house is empty, like every day, filled, with, filled only with my own echoes, and these things I don't want to hear anymore. I miss father so much. I still see him playing by my side. I see him put his hands on the piano keys, humming as he were playing music. I think about leaving, but then I wonder... What would that change anyway? Night is everywhere. She would find me. First, I have to make my big plan come true and learn how to live again. I listen to Jack Halton's Wonderful You, and I realize I've never had anyone to play with. This is what I need, some company, a companion. The city is so close. I guess it is time to leave. They have electricity and light there. Hey, Art, what's going on? Welcome in. Okay, so wait a minute. William's the son, Henry's the father. Yeah, I got 12. Again. What's in the wardrobe? Nothing. What's over here? Oh, hang on. Oh, a light. Oh, it looks broken and dangerous. Okay. He had the stare of a broken man, a lost soul. There's another door here, too. A log. A good start if I wanted to start a fire. Ooh, I want to start a fire! How do I do this? I have wood. How do I wood? How do I wood? Tell me how I wood. Ah. Doesn't tell me how to wood. What the sound is that? I know, right? Did I do... What did I do? 
well, how do I wood? Did, did I wood? That's okay, use a little bit of wood. Oh. Well, bullshit. Try again. Matches. How much wood do you really need, let's be honest? Match was a nuisance. I could put it out by pressing B repeatedly. Okay. Do I, do I need to do that? Couldn't see anything. Oh my god. Well, now you're just being difficult. Menu for the dinner seemed to be a good 20 years late. Uh-huh. Good. Oh. Note to self, kitchen key. My dear friend, for the lack of sleep erodes your sanity as well as your memory, I hereby decide to put the kitchen key in this book of recipes father loved so much. It is in the library and won't move from there, which will prevent you from having to make extra keys again. Please start by trying not to lose this note. Your devoted servant, yourself, William. Okay. I get to the library, though. Set the curtains on fire. Okay. How do I log? Can I log? Oh, nice, bruh. I need more matches. Yeah. Okay. What we got going on here? Oh, sorry. Um, I was looking for clues. Oh my god. Um, art. This is White Knight. It. Um, I picked it up last night. I was looking for another game uh, since I finished L.A. Noir, and um, this game was basically 80% off the eShop, and I used some points. So it was basically is a free game. Um, I was going to download uh, Vampire, but I heard the story wasn't so good, so I left it be. And I'm kind of glad I did because this game looks... I'm having so much fun with this game. But the girl, was she just a dream? We'll never know now. Also, we don't know our character's name, so he's either Jones or Stanley. Stanley Jones. Okay, I guess we're going back out here. lights here though. I really want to get the lights. Ah. Okay. Spring came and the blooming flowers are the source of unbearable allergies. The shadow of Henry and his ancestors is haunting the mansion. The place is mine now and I am busy trying to give it a suitable appearance. William won't like it but so be it. He has to learn that the power to change things has to be earned. I'm still his mother. He doesn't seem to understand what it meant to be a Boston Brahmin. It was only when I grew older that I really understood what it meant. I tried picking the best words, savoring their meaning today, teaching him the part of his ancestor, John Venter, who arrived in Boston in 1710, had played in the building of the city. The duty on the shoulders of New England Protestant elite. I ended with these words, quote, We are the past and the future of this city, William. He shrugged and went to play the piano. There is way too much of his father in this child. Maybe it's because you're overbearing. Ah, oh, Debussy's Claire de Lune. Oh, sorry. Let me just, let me get that. Uh, it's a really beautiful game. Note to self, armchairs. I am so tired. Father ordered several leather club chairs from a Quincy craftsman. They are perfect. It is one of the few places where I can rest and think. 
Margaret wouldn't touch them, and I have no idea why. Maybe because they are marked with a sun, which made her blind. I don't know. I'm just happy they are here. Thank you, Father. Sounds like Margaret's kind of a bitch. Sheet music was taken away from the glass case. But we found it. It's right here. So we got to go find a piano? Is that what we need to do? Play some music? Oh, news. I love the news. An appointment with destiny. Sorry, not break. For too many of us, the political equality we once had won was meaningless in the face of economic inequality. A small group had concentrated into their own hands and almost complete control over the other people's property, other people's money, other people's labor, other people's lives. For too many of us, life was no longer free, liberty no longer real, men could no longer follow the pursuit of happiness. Against economic tyranny such as this, the American citizen could appeal only to the organized power of government. The collapse of 1929 showed up at the... Despotism for what it was. The election of 1932 was the people's mandate to end it. Under that mandate, it is being ended. Franklin Delano Roosevelt, June 27th, 1936. Wasn't he like one of the best presidents in American history? A harbor with empty boats on the water. The woman has been cut with a knife. Oh, we're back to the beginning. I remember the face. The face. Oh, my matchsticks are going in again. Oh, I can shut the door? Really? You know that's not going to stop the ghosts from coming, right? Oh, turn on. Just kidding. We've been here before. Yeah, isn't this where the ghost is? Wait, did I just... Did I, what am I... Yeah, the ghost is here. We can't, she's blocking the way. We got, I think we gotta go back to the library. The library. If you don't disturb the dead, the dead won't disturb you. We learned that. Uh, the problem is, is I don't remember where the library is. Are you the library? Oh God, I'm frozen. Oh shit. Here we go. <laughs> the game is frozen, you guys. Oh, I got scared for a second. doing that <sighs> okay so it said the key of and a recipe book it's a puzzle I legitimately got concerned I thought we were fucking stuck I was gonna have a goddamn moment the loading screens are already so long. I gotta pick up more matchbooks. Matchbooks? No, news. Matchbooks?
cold tobacco fresh enough to fill the room. Is that not an oxymoron? The globe was cobbled in, with scribblings? What kind of scribblings? Oh, that's locked. Oh, but I don't have a key. Oh no. You guys, we don't have a key. No. Well, for fuck's sakes. God damn it. Why is everything eluding me? Gotta get more matches because somehow this moron keeps fucking doing, shaking him off shakes it off like Taylor Swift does. Oh, matches, matches, matches. There we go. They could be very helpful. No shit, Sherlock. Okay. Good. Good. Uh, it was a recipe book. We're looking for a recipe book. Everybody keep your eyeballs out and open. Okay. Nothing there. This is what the night looked like. Limited perspective is as closed as this door. This is what the night looked like. Limited perspective is as closed as this door. We got a jazz record, you guys. Nice. From Selena to William, excerpt number two. September 1934, during a concert at the Red Bait, we meet Jim Erzinger. Erzinger, a producer whose label, The Two Roads, is becoming prominent. After the show, he tells me I have a marvelous voice and that my Norwegian accent brings something unique to our African-American jazz music that it is enough to get the attention of amateurs and curious listeners. I have to admit, Norwegian jazz singers are not that many, but I can't really believe he would hire us, but he does. He suggests we name the band Selena and the Frozen Sons. I am to be paid for singing. Everything looks so simple. Dad used to say that anything can grow in California. I feel like a flower finding its way through the snow. My parents are not happy for me. I think they are homesick, but I am 22. Life is an adventure, and I don't know much about life. I know nothing of pain, for example. Everything changes. Is there more in there? What else we got in here? Okay, I think that was everything. Oh, wait, hang on. Come on, do it. Such treasure. Okay. There's matches over here, I think. Sweet. Gonna go listen to the gramophone, you guys. It's the gramophone. Is that what I called it? You guys, this game is amazing. I didn't mean to do that. 
Where's the gramophone? Am I out? Gramophone. What do we got? jazz record, Selena Sandvik. The key she left me was an invitation. Was she trying to help me? Or was I heading towards even more troubles? I mean, if your fucking lounge doesn't have an, a fucking jazz singer, is it even I a real lounge? I had to lounge? focus. Surviving is a full-time job. Not the kind of job you can afford to lose. Let's see what he did there. was an invitation. But to what world and to what effect? Don't disturb the ghost. I think the ghost is Margaret. Audacity, right? Is there a battle between good and evil going on here? So we're looking for a book of recipes. Look, it's a library. Flipping the switch didn't do anything, goddamn house. Note to self, the shadows avoid the electric light. Tonight, one of Mother's shadows caught me as I was walking inside the library. Well, that certainly sounds like it applies to me. That same day, I had someone fix the electrical wiring, which had been out of service for years. In a panic, I switched on the light. The shadow vanished in a scream. Electric light kills them. Uh, what do you do if the light doesn't do anything? Oh, news. I love the news. Reasons for the crisis. The current crisis is a sickness born from capitalism, from speculation like a blind madness forged in three sins. Greed. The wealth of the Great War was jealously kept since 1918 in the safes of those who were wealthy already and didn't benefit the economy or the people. Do you guys feel like, again, I'm picking games that are really reflectant of the times now? Lack of experience. A weak economic balance was shattered by the pieces of the restrictive policies of the Federal Reserve. Still too young and unwilling to take bold actions. Fear. By refusing to supply money to the banks in order to encourage spending, the Fed actually was at the origin of the credit crunch, which pushed the people to withdraw their money from the banks and in the end brought the whole system to its knees. The bleeding would cause the system to fail, the crash to happen. It wasn't supposed to happen. It could have been avoided if someone had enough courage to face the few men who were ransacking America. The people should ask Mr. Hoover where he was when water started flooding the ship. You guys. I'm pretty sure greed, lack of experience, and fear sums up a lot of things happening in the world right now. Kind 
kind of hard not to take this personally. Fucking freaky AF. What we got here? Nothing. Oh, fuck. Hello? The concussion man. Uh, what do I do if I run out of matches? Maya Drawings, probably the owner, had some real education. Oh, she got me. She fucking got me. She's gonna get me. She's gonna get me. Hi. Where? She got me. Fuck. I'm actually... Hello? <laughs> Uh, I don't know what button to hit. Usually it's A. Okay, let me just get this shit again. So, basically I gotta light this bitch up. Moon, I would have to, I would have needed her light here. These gashed portraits were not my favorite decoration. Oh, camera. There's a lot of knife there. The mother of men, my mother. You allowed me to be a man. Am I missing stuff? Like, I feel like I'm missing, like it's jumping around. I feel like I'm, I'm missing shit, you know? Okay. Note to self, she's suing me. She's using me? Her voice is harassing me, blaming me and insulting me because I was not the heir she wanted so much. Margaret is even more harmful in death, and because I am her son, she has always possessed the keys to my mind. I am desperate. How am I supposed to keep a dead person at bay? Whoop, camera angles. Geometric symbols. These shapes gave me a headache. Me too. Just, I'm stuck. Can we take the knife? Oh, William. In alchemy, the second of four cycles leading to the incarnation of the mind in the great work, the Philosopher's Stone, is called white work, albedo, leucosis. During the, this phase, the alchemist cleans the matter he has been dissolving and charring for years in a renewed cycle with water he has distilled three times. This is the time of the moon and the purification of matter by femininity. The water the alchemist obtained the alchemist obtained is called alkahest. Alkahest. Yeah. The universal solvent. The elixir of longevity that puts an end to the little work. Despite my research, I have not been able to acquire a genuine alkahest. This could be the ultimate cure of the elixir that would save my life. I don't give a damn about eternity. I just want peace. I have brought some material, bought some materials. Tonight, I will begin my journey towards the great work. I hope to reach the albedo. albedo. But this path is very long and very dark. What is my dude up to over here? Oh, Jesus, she scared the shit out of me. I was ready to fight. I was ready to fight. Y'all, I need some motherfucking matches here. Oh, 
Virginia. Oh, okay, I need, okay, well, I found that. Oh, that's William. Okay, just checking. Yeah, I need this. But how do I get that? Why can't we just pull it out? So am I looking for a knife? I'm actually looking for some matches. Does anybody have some matches? Margaret's Diary. 1895. I want him to stop. God, is he still my father? I wish things would be like they were before. Going to the fair, to the races, when he told me the names of the horses he knew so well, when he let me bet, then laughed at me because I lost. I want him to tell me more about our family. About Kenneth Cross's bravery when he fought the English soldiers during the tea party. About Uncle Hardy, the captain of the Union warship fighting slavery. About the senator and the poet Douglas Venter. About Tom Kenstown member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. All great men, knights, intellectuals, glorious members of the Venter Cross family. But what will people say about Dad? Oh, yeah, a little sneaky sneaky happening. What, uh, what's old Dad up to there? What's going on? That's sweet. Yeah, got that. The light is here. I doesn't do nothing. Damn this house! Right. Watch out for the ghost. I'm running out of matches, y'all. Can a brother get some matches? Well, Jesus Christ, Spencer. I am legitimately. Okay. Oh. We're going to start a fire. dagger. Ah! I did that. What were you hiding? A book. Oh, the key's in here. Tahitian raw fish. Sushi grade raw fish diced into. And this, you guys taking notes? Six yellow limes. Two green limes. Two shallots. Coconut milk. That sounds great. Does somebody want to make this? If needed, add some lime juice. Keep chilled and present on a bed of green salad and grated carrots. A lot of French. Sausage and cabbage casserole. I like cabbage. Beef bourgeon. Serve six. You guys, we can all be chefs. It's literally giving us dinner. Soak in quoise. Chickpea flour. Water in a hot pot. Hot pockets. Take the key. Okay, we need the dagger. Does anybody remember where that... Oh, Maya drawings, probably. Does anybody remember where that uh, head... I've got, like, two matches left, you guys. What am I going to do? I'm running out of light. Is it her? Is 
What do you guys think? Am I, am I doing Maya? Or am I doing Virginia? Fuck, I gotta waste a fucking match. Oh my god. You guys. Oh, I get to keep the match? Do it. Nothing happened. I need another one, though. Well, shit, you guys. I know where the other knife is. It's right here. Shit, okay, so I, okay, so there's another knife around here somewhere I gotta find. Do you think it's in here? Could death itself die? Best things are made from best ingredients. Golden Lift cigarettes are made with the finest Turkish tobacco, finely and tightly braided to bring out all of its flavor. So light, you'll think you draw on the air of a sunny morning, and yet you shall enjoy all the strength of their distinctive character. Breathe and fly with Golden Lift cigarettes. Join the millions of smokers. It's just, uh, it's just Selena. I, you guys. I feel like I'm fucking missing shit. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I'm, I've missed stuff. Do I need to go back somewhere? Look, my match is gone now. Fucking hell, man. Shit. No, I think... Uh, let me just get into the light here. Something is happening. Excuse me? Oh, fuck. Okay. I gotta go find more matches. I don't have any matches left. Not good, no bueno. I need matches. Just gonna take a seat. I also wasted my matchbook. Motherfucking hell. Uh, 
Oh. Okay, can I check and see? Where does where where did this key go to? Does it go to that door in that one room? Do you guys remember which the what the door was? Is there matches in here? Oh look, it's spark oh matches. Look, I found matches. <laughs> oh my god. Full on matches, bitches. Bright as it was like about five seconds ago. The time came when we stopped counting. We stopped counting how many companies closed in the past nine years, how many unemployed families ended up in the streets, forced to live in the slums around our cities. We stopped counting all the commodities wasted because nobody could buy them, thrown into the sea or burnt. We stopped counting how many of our business partners fell with us. It was nine years ago on October 29, 1929. Born from the sick and speculative belly of America, the crash would throw the world into storm and darkness. We are still here, but we lost faith. And we stopped counting because these were just figures, because today... They make us feel nauseous. Dawn seemed far at that time, and today, some think they can see the sun rise. They seem to forget night and darkness are always out there somewhere. You guys, this game is just, I feel like it's kind of applicable. Like right now. Who's this key? That's Edgar Allan Poe. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, God. He's doing it again. Just wait a second. where the ghost lives. She just 
like all of a sudden I was like, do like, you guys hear that like munch and crunch noise? I was just trying to find the light switch. don't remember what it like counts and what it doesn't count. That's all. I'm just going back and looking at some shit. Okay, so uh, is this room no good anymore? can't go there. She's there. Oh, I think I found this already. cute little run okay but like okay so where do I go now though because she's here too she's right here bye nope myself out of this situation Okay, I'll sit and I'll stand in the light because they can't be in the light. Like he was in a co Am I making dinner? It's not a coincidence because the note said that. I have to, I think I got to get to that back door, but she's there, which means I got to find the light switch somehow. Hmm. <laughs> Did we see a light switch in this room? I honestly don't remember. Oh. Okay. 
Is that always there? There's a chair here. I'm gonna take a seat, so maybe that means that if I, I can climb things now. There's just a goddamn ghost in the next room, but we're just gonna take a little snooze. Don't mind us. I can hear her. You guys hear that noise? Sounds like water. Do I have to lead her through here, maybe? Into the light? Maybe that's the trail. Maybe that's how we know the ghost is here. So maybe what I have to do is I have to try not to get, is there, is there another light switch here? Safe in the light. <laughs> you can't hurt me in the light. You bitch, where are you? Where the big motherfucking hell are you? You ho. I watch them from behind the vapors of my whiskey. Drunk men and women who bark at each other like animals. They grab and bite each other in a preposterous parade that seems to arouse them. I am outraged and yet I'm jealous of their foolishness. Their ability to just forget everything in this game. Then there's the lovers leaning and whispering into each other amidst the chaos. Confident that their words would find their way to the mind of their significant other. I dream of being in his place, drinking in her words. What could she say to me? What would I answer? Would I tell her I love her? Maybe I wouldn't say a word. Maybe I would hit her. What? I could be her son. I could be the son of all women. Well, you lost me there, William. Good God, man. You had me, you lost me. Okay, so where is she? Do I have to turn a light on her? Well, I know, I think I know where the, the door key is. I just need to find, I need to get her out of the way. Right, I gotta find the light switch. There's a light switch somewhere, I think. I just don't know where that is. You guys see any light switches?
You guys, I am confusion. Oh, wait, is anything in here? No. I'm also fucking running out of matches again. Is this like a run and eat thing? Right here somewhere. Yeah, there she is. Do I have to go around? You guys, I don't know. do. That's exactly what this is, Luster. I 100% I agree. With you. Have you played this game before? What's the living room? I was hoping you had so I could get a small tip. missing a knife for this other portrait in the library we're not climbing anything because uh he doesn't want to oh my god um this key goes to a door that the ghost lady is blocking right now but i can't get to it because i don't know where the light switch is that can you so I'm missing another thing somewhere I just don't know what thing there's a light switch you guys somewhere there is a light switch that's stuck on the doors Pa and Mama. Oh, okay. I am once again somehow running out of matches. Is 
she won't come to the light. Shit. Is this the living room? Where? A key, but not B key. So books on the I can't do anything with the books either. Yeah. Maybe answers in the library? Legit don't know what to think, you guys. Yeah, that's the wood. Like give me a headache too. You're not alone. Maria, Irina, and Virginia. Oh, did you see that before? Yeah, I did see that one. That one's already got the knife in it. He won't climb this ladder because Owie. Yeah, see? That's the knife we already had. Mother, or should I say what is left of her, seems to evolve over time. First she was very static, as if trapped in her own nightmare. Now she's moving around the house, as she used to when she was blind, shortly before she died. Margaret is waiting behind the doors, where she is standing in obscene and twisted postures, inherited from her insane mind. I cannot move without fearing her claws. That's not the way to go. Well, 
Oh, you guys. I know I have to be in the living room. I just don't know how to get there. You know? Hmm? I mean, it's not that I don't know how to get there. I just don't know how to make... Madman, lunatic, loser. She just loves insulting me. I couldn't sleep for three nights. That darkness is suffocating. Luna won't show up, despite my prayers. And even if I pray, played the piano for her... Even if I played the piano for her so much that it hurt. My stock of candles is decreasing quickly. I tried to keep myself busy by checking the accounts of the company. My acquisitions in Europe have dug massive holes in the accounts. I only light one candle at a time, and the electrical wiring is so worn out that it trips every other time. And so I have to endure the confused sounds of her insults, even with wax to sh shut my ears. Cursed mother. Cursed daughters. Are they my sisters? To what extent is that evil anchored inside my body? Do I just miss this shit, or does it spawn randomly? were not my favorite decoration. The body of a 40-year-old man was found yesterday morning in the Burns Industrial Area. According to the police, the death is the result of severe malnutrition coupled with massive alcohol ingestion. He is the fourth person to be found dead as a result of starvation this week in the neighborhood, where many factories have closed and the unemployment rate reaches 60%. The authorities seem unable to face the malnutrition and alcoholism issues, and community itself can't take over from the official institutions to face the crisis. The government doesn't seem to have their, the power to save its own citizens, or maybe it doesn't want to. Yikes. Like, I swear to God, I... Am I just, like, missing all of this shit, like, all the time? That light doesn't do anything. Y'all, I don't know what I'm doing. Why do I do that? Weird. How do I make her go away? I can't draw her towards the light. It's like she knows. That's the light switch here. I got the light switch there. Yeah, see, she's right here. But the light, I can see the light. It's right there. I got her. I think I got... 
Why do I do that? I think I got her. Did I get her? The music, I think the music is telling me I did not get her. to the library. The library. That is not fair. I, I think I gotta go back and get all that stuff I missed now again. I find that to be the frustrating part, I think. Maybe I just have to, maybe it's just like I got to do a, uh, like a run. Like I just have to run for it. I don't know. I got her. And that light switch doesn't work because of course it doesn't. Game. 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 <laughs> What do you guys think? Like, do we have to, is it just a, just a run for it? Cause she moves so fast. keep getting distracted by that light switch. Save again. Even though she's 
right fucking there. Get and not to question. Place matches all around the house in case the electrical wiring breaks down. It really is the last thing I wish would happen. Once a meal, and now an offering to flies. Good. Despite its tired look, the bridge was still working. That's good. I was a prisoner inside the belly of a beast, a black and starving beast. Dagger was used to carve Selena before it was forcibly struck. First, what I needs to do, I think. Can I pull it out with one hand? Oh, that's what I thought. Okay, well. We'll just keep exploring. Piece of meat could have come from anything. Or anyone. Oh god, there's more. Holy shit. In a pan, some indistinct shape was still warm. Curse that Bolstead act. It has been a week since Winsterstone last got me some bourbon. Even since uh, even since the police seized the Beckford distillery, the whole city is dry. I will need to smuggle alcohol in the next cargo ship leaving from Anang. That Asian alcohol is burning my bowels, but I have no other choice. It will take weeks. These damn corrupted cops can sleep without a worry. No one is coming out of the dark to attack them at night. Such a stupid and hypocritical paternalism. What's left for the poor? Before taking care of my health, you should wonder if it will make me feel better. I should go out, try to find new contacts. But the shadows will chase me. Outside, and when I am driving, especially. Who knows what could happen? William, honey, are you okay? 
What is that noise? Do you guys hear that? Clickety clack. I need to do this. There we go. Okay, well, okay, okay, we're going back to the lab berry. Do I want to turn it on to the... matches in here. I cannot believe that. Oh, come on. What the shit? Seriously? Ah. It can be hard to uh, be distinct sometimes about. Do I have to look at all this stuff again? I don't even remember if I need to. that clickety clack sound. Is she here? That's a great time for this to run out. Blocking me from leaving. We're very angry. Okay, you guys. I think we are going to call it there for the day. That is what I think. What do you guys think of the game so far? What are your thoughts? For a free game. What are you guys thinking? I mean, I don't hate it. It's a little hard to make out yourself sometimes, but that's fine. That's okay. So if we play this tomorrow, what do you guys think? Be good? Bueno? Oh no. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Hey. 
the clock is just on point right now. Alrighty. Call here for the night. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm really enjoying this game so far. I'm really liking it. Um, I may play tomorrow. It is my day off, so I don't want to make any promises. We'll see how I feel. May or may not stream. I don't know yet. Um, but if I do, uh, then we will see you guys tomorrow. Um, if not, definitely on Wednesday. And I hope you guys have an awesome Tuesday. And we will see you later, Gators.